Hey everybody, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to go over glute max testing. A bunch of different ways to do it. One of the ways is supine like this. We're going to do have the patient bend his knee up. The key to get glute max is you have to have the leg abducted and you have to have his leg a little externally rotated. If we do it the other way, then they'll tend to use more of the adductors or the muscles to compensate. So what we'll do is we'll hand underneath the foot, foot's on the table. Again, the leg is out a little bit. You tell the patient, hold your foot onto the table. Don't be lift it, hold it down, hold it down, two, three, and relax. So that's a good test. Sometimes you'll see this is gonna be a bad test. Okay. Don't make it work. Hold your foot down, and as I pick up, he'll, he won't be able to hold it, and you'll see the leg come up like that. Okay, so that's one way for glute max. If we're gonna go the other glutes, we got glute medius, minimus. So again, we could do either sideline. I like supine so I can control it. But as long as they get three minus strength, we can go in this position. We're looking for his ability to hold that muscle. Not necessarily strength, but the ability to just hold in that position. So a motor planning type issue. So hold your leg out there, don't only push it in. Good, two, three, you can hold it. That's glute medius. I go up about 15 degrees, 20 degrees. Glute minimus, hold your leg there. Good, two, three, relax. And if I want to get TFL, I'll take the leg, I'll turn it in this way, and I'm going to push down towards that direction. So hold your leg there, don't only push, and hold. So good. So he had good strength in all those ranges. He could also do a prone sideline, but it's a good way to get a baseline so then to know where your exercise program is going to progress to. It's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Thanks.